Dear students, in this module, I am going to introduce you to GeneBank. While writing any bioinformatics application, on most occasions you are trying to process sequence or structure. How do we get access to this sequence information? Where is it available? Is it available for free? And is it available online? So the answer to all of those questions is yes. This information is available for free and online with GeneBank. So let's start looking at what the GeneBank has for us. So GeneBank is essentially a public repository of nucleotide sequences, which includes DNA and RNA sequences, and it is maintained by NCBI and is updated every two months with latest information on sequences. At the moment, it contains over 200,000 different species and organisms and their genomes. So if you want to look at the information that is available on GeneBank, you can simply visit this URL that is provided here for you. So GeneBank is a massive database of nucleotides, so therefore it encompasses a lot of work. At the moment, it is a collaboration between three major bioinformatics institutes, and these include the DNA Data Bank of Japan, the European Molecular Biology Lab, EMBL, and the NCBI. So collaboratively, they share and update GeneBank with the latest sequence information that they obtain from the literature. So if you have a new sequence of RNA or DNA, then you can submit it to GeneBank with certain quality assurance parameters fulfilled. So, as I just mentioned, you can submit your own sequences, but the first step is to find out what are the sequences that are available with GeneBank. So for that, you need to go to their online portal that we will see now. So here is the NCBI GeneBank. And you can simply go on this URL and the home page for GeneBank will appear. So here you can see nucleotide. So if you click on this drop down list box, you can also have other options such as amino acids and others. After which you can write your accession number or your sequence or your organism here in this text box and press search. So once you press search, then for instance, I have input a sample accession number here. So you get the output from the gene bank like this. So the first information that you have is the locus that is given here. Next, you get the modification date or the update, last update date. The molecule, such as the messenger RNA in this case, the accession number, the number of nucleotides, that is the sequence in this molecule, and lastly, the version number for this sequence. So if you scroll down this page, then you will find further information, such as the gene, the variation, the CDS, so all of this information you can scroll and here at the bottom you can also look at the protein that is translated from this sequence. And at the end you have your entire sequence with you. So this is the nucleotide sequence for the molecule that I input and you can copy the sequence, you can look at it, you can analyze it and you can compare it with other DNA sequences as well. At this point, it is very important to realize that this information is growing very fast and rapidly. So here the blue line shows the growth of this information and as you can see, this information is closing to a billion sequences at the moment. The red line as shown here is the whole genome sequencing. So Clearly, it is catching up very fast and this is the result of the next generation sequencing instrumentation and protocols that is available with us. This information is stored separately 
from Gene Bank, but is also available for your analysis online. So, in conclusion, the the nucleotide sequences of all known organisms and species which have been sequenced is available at Gene Bank. You can search Gene Bank to find the DNA sequence or the RNA sequence of your choice and you can process it further. And this is all searchable and for free. Therefore, you can enjoy all of this information and make some fantastic discoveries by analyzing them.